Okay, going back to the turning, you can achieve that um, diameter and mark it with a compass. And we're going to now use a um, jack plane or a large black jack plane to take off that edge there. Okay, so I'll start by taking off this. I have actually cut a, a piece out, but um, in your shed, you might just want to start afresh and just take off fairly large pieces in one go. And just keep going. You might need a little bit of strength on this one. Okay, and we're going to do that all the way around and achieve the overall rough um, circumference that we need to. Thank you. Okay, let's see how we're doing in our shed. Here we go, and the planing is pretty well done. So we've got nearly the circumference we need to then turn it on our lathe, which is in here. Okay, shed hacks, and the next stage is the turning on the lathe. So we've established the center of this block using a compass and now we're going to drill a three millimeter hole with a hand drill and we'll do that on both ends about a centimeter deep yeah and this will now go onto the lathe ready for turning Now the lathe, really old lathe, we're pretty good. We'll turn it on that and we'll show you the basic procedure if you have one. If not, you could no. actually just carry on planing the shape and you'll fairly quickly get to a similar shape to this. Yeah. Fairly quickly. So um, it will... let's see how we go. Yeah. Okay. So the next step to turning this block of wood is to get the centre from the lathe and a hammer. And we're just going to hammer it into the wood. And then we're going to take it over to the lathe. And we're just going to slot it in. You may need to move that back. Slot it. And then you want to slide this into the hole we drilled on this side. And tighten that. And then on the tool post, you want to make sure it's no more than about three millimeters. So if you can get your pinky in it, like there, it's too much. It needs to come closer, but of course, you don't want it hitting it on the corner here. So, right now, that's around about right. And then, of course, you always want your PPE, which is personal protective equipment. So, always safety goggles, dust mask if you're using sandpaper to get it quite smooth. But we're just getting the rough edge, so we probably won't need a dust mask. And then uh, this is called the gouge, and the gouge is to get the rough edge. So you go along like that, and it will just get the rough shape of the uh, block of wood you're turning. And um, before you turn it on, just make sure everything's tight, and turn it just like that to make sure there's clearance of the tool post. Okay, we're just about to start with the gouge and I've made sure it's nice and sharp and we're going to take off the rough edge at low speed it'll be about 600 rpm holding it firmly onto the tool bed with your hand and the tool should point pretty well towards your body level Keep it nice and tight, checking it's tight all the time. 
Make sure the tool post is not moving. After a while the gap is obviously increased because the diameter reduces and the tool pulse at some point will be moved towards the timber that's spinning. But I'm got, that's the first stage, I'll turn it off in a minute and you'll see a rough beginning of this circumference we need. So let's have a quick look. And you can see you've got the beginnings of the shape, okay? and we'll eventually have that shape all the way through which my son will do in a moment and we'll come back to you. Thank you. Okay, you may have to sharpen your tools. This is an adult task and somebody who's had some sort of experience and training. But to get that nice and sharp, maintain that angle. Nice sharp film. They have to be sharp to be able to do the job. Alright. How my son's doing. And looks like it's going quite well so far. Brilliant. How's it going, Jake? Alright. So let's see how we're getting on in the lathe or on the lathe. Is it oh, 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 he's got some mince pies. Of course, uh, keep yourself well fed while you're doing these jobs. How's it going, Jake? Well, it's going all right. So, so far, we've got pretty well a round cylinder. It's just that one little flat part there. And um, I started using this tool, and uh, that gets like the rough. So we used the uh, other tool to get the rough edge, so it's relatively smooth. Then I'm using this tool to get it completely smooth, so there's no bumps in it. Show me the tool. Oh yes, that's the what it looks like. Tool, yeah. It's yeah. just looks good. One of those. All pretty smooth. Yeah. Well done. What's the next bit then? Um, so the next bit, this is the finished product. Nice round cylinder made out of wood. It looks very neat, Jake. Very good. Yeah. So this is what it looks like, end, where that was held in by this side, and then this end, and uh, yeah. 